Welcome to the July 2022 sheet load of cards. I'm going to be doing my sheet load in 10 minute segments to show you how much you can get done in that amount of time. This is put out by Call Me Crafty Owl, Alicia, and she presents us with the beautiful card sketch as well as the supply list to make these cards. Now this month we're gonna be making 12. And if you want to play along, she wants us to use these hashtags. Show us your sheet load, July 2022, or show us your sheet load spelled out. So let's get started. I have my card bases here. There are 12 100 to 110 pound cardstock, and they're going to be landscape position for these cards. And I have enamel dots for decorations. These came out of the kit Farmhouse Summer by Echo Park, which is what I'm going to be using for the pattern paper. And these are just from Amazon. These will come later. I've already cut my paper. It takes ten, about 10 minutes to do all that. Cut my paper and my cardstock. And this is the Farmhouse Summer Collection from Echo Park. I get a kit every other month. And I'm going to be making my sentiment piece with the white, white scraps and my punch from Stampin' Up. And I will be die cutting my Hello Die my hello die which was hiding from me this is smaller than the one she used in her cards and that will go on the sentiment piece but i decided to choose this and while we're talking about color i decided to use a piece like this i would call it like a cornflower color or a periwinkle instead of the white here just to add some more color so I will have this color and this color in front of the pattern paper. All right. And as usual, I want to stamp the inside of the cards first. And I'll be using Thanks for the Smile and everything else. This is from Dragonfly Dreams from Stampin' Up. Okay. And one, I think I'm going to use Watermelon Wonder for the ink. Get everything out of the way here. And we'll go ahead and start stamping. Let me count out my cards. 10 minutes on the clock. Here we go. My inside sentiment will match, obviously, with the Hello die cut because it's basically the same color. I just love how I can always find an ink to match the cardstock or vice versa. Unless you buy from Stampin' Up! and, of course, everything matches. That's the one thing that I like. I'm not one of these that can just put it down and put it up. <laughs> I just want to make sure it stamps well. So I just kind of leave it down for a little mi minute. Make sure it contacts well. And gets all the ink off. There. Ooh. Okay. Start over. <clears throat> These were supposed to be 
<laughs> These are supposed to be landscape. All right. So you see what I did? This is why I stamp first, because now I can just go ahead and put my pattern paper card front over here and nobody will be the wiser. So let's do this over. That's going to take more time, but oh well. That's what happens. Okay. It's just a habit, you know? I get so used to making portrait style A2 cards. I'm glad I caught it before I completely finished. Okay. Landscape, landscape. <laughs> All right. Because we are doing 12. It will take a little bit longer, I'm sure, especially with decorating, but you all have told me that you want to see the decorating, um, so I thank you for that, and I will definitely include it. I will be putting together the little triangles on the three by three piece. So there we have the insides all stamped. I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to put the triangle pieces on here. Now I have a triangle die, but it's not equal. This is equal because you just cut the piece of paper on your diagonal, point to point on your trimmer, and you get an equilateral triangle. At least that's what I call it. The, the triangle set I have are just offset enough. It wouldn't work for this. Let me get all my triangles out. None of my papers were directional or directional, so that helped. Okay. makes waste if you fail to plan you plan to fail right
Not a fail, just takes longer. That's all. Okay. I love this purple. I think it just goes really well, the, a purple blue color. You just kind of mix and match. My timer ran out as I was frantically looking for my other triangles, so we will pick up next time.